Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Yorkie's World, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you something which I probably should have showed you quite a long time ago. Uh, it's one of the main sort of tricks slash uh, hints, ideas, hacks, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is basically what I do every single time I start my simulator. Now, a lot of people have a lot of different add-ons that they have to start um, before they start the simulator, like Active Sky. Um, EFB, things like that, Pro ATCX in my case. Um, and it can sometimes be a pain. I know it can take a, a few seconds and it's not really a major thing. Uh, but for people like me who just want to literally click one thing and have a bunch of things happen at once and get it all out of the way, it can be a bit of a hindrance. So I decided to create the following. Uh, and this is a very, very quick bat file. Now, First of all, this is not something that you can just literally copy and paste. I will put it in the description, but I wouldn't recommend it because your directories for your programs and stuff might be different and stuff. But let me just explain what this is. So essentially, this first part that you're seeing right here, uh, you need to set this particular bit here where it says your username. But the first part is to clear your P3D shaders, your P3D version 4 shaders to be exact. Um, again, make sure that the directories are the same as what your directories are, because mine might not be. Um, that will clear all the shaders. Now, the reason that I like to clear shaders is because it improves performance, and it's a bit of a debatable situation. It doesn't always imp improve performance on everybody's machine. On mine, it does, and in my case, it works. Um, so this first part here, this is first three lines, this is what you're going to need, and you'll need to modify it. Uh, specifically, you'll need to modify the set folder part, definitely. Um, the rest of it should be all right, uh, and that will initiate um, the clearing of all your shaders. So it'll do it automatically um, as soon as you click on the bat file. You won't have to type any of this in. If you want to have the rest of it here, which I'm going to explain in just a second, that's fine. But I would recommend having two separate ones, one with just the clear and one with all of them. Um, or you can have, like, literally just one of each. It's entirely up to yourself. Um, the second part here, lines four to eight, are what happens after the clearing of your shaders. Now, this is basically just to start a selection of programs without having to click on them individually. Uh, so, for example, I've got EFB, the server part, and the client part. I've got Active Sky, and I've got Pro ATCX because they are the add-ons that I use. If you have other add-ons that you also need to start at the same time as your sim, you can also add those in. You can add the sim itself, like you could put start and then. Um, type in P3D and start that up as well with exit on the end. And that will basically execute, first of all, clearing your shaders, and then it will start the add-ons in this case, and then I can manually go in and start P3D. It basically just speeds things up for those of you out there who want to like maybe drag it down here somewhere in the taskbar um, and just have something you can click on and have everything happen at once without having to click on separate things. It's something that I personally use. I don't know whether it's going to be of any use to anybody else, but I just thought I'd share it anyway, because to me, it's a really, really helpful little uh, little bat file. Um, if you're using Notepad++, or if you're using just no normal Notepad, once you've put all this in, you'll need to go to File, uh, Save As, and then you can literally just save it as a bat file. You'll need to select the correct option in there and put .bat instead of .txt. Uh, and once you run it, it will carry out that command. It's important that you have the exit on the end of it if you want the uh, the CMD window to close after the, uh, the the actions have been completed. If you're not too bothered, then you can leave it out. But uh, but yeah. So basically, I thought that uh, would be something that maybe helped a few of you guys out. Um, while I'm in the process of uh, doing so many things in my life right now, I haven't got time to make full flight videos. So I thought, why not? Let's just make a quick tutorial that will hopefully help out. Um, a lot of people out there who want to achieve the same goal as me, which is have everything done within a click without having to click on separate things. So thanks for watching, guys. Look out for my next video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.